quest. Fantasy challenge. You know, I should just turn this game off right now. You ever get a game one Christmas and you never won it in the first place, but you didn't get any other good games, so you were forced to play it? Well, this is what this game was for me for Christmas back in 1999. And it came out in 98, around the same time Quest 64 did. And to let you know, Quest 64 sucks. The story's horrible, you get the same four moves the whole game, and you don't get any party members. The game is terrible. You shouldn't play it at all, even though I know a lot of people probably love this game. But Mystic Challenge on the Game Boy Color is literally a freaking copy of Mr. Do. What's Mr. Do, you ask? Well, it's an arcade game, which is, seems to be like my specialty, arcade games and freaking RPGs. It's just Mr. Do was actually a good arcade game that came out right before the video game crash in 1983. When did this game come out? It came out at the jack life of the Game Boy Color, and it isn't anything special because it's just more or less a reskin of Mr. Do. On to the actual gameplay, though. It's kind of like Dig Dug, but at the same time, you're being chased by all these inanimate objects. Well, they actually look like actual characters, but it looked more like those little death spots that you see whenever the police come and they remove the body and they, you know, leave that on the ground so you know where they died. I'm getting chased by chalk drawing dogs. This is freaking weird. Anyway, what do you do on this game? It's pretty simple. You collect all the gems, kind of like Pac-Man. Yeah, I mean, like I said, this is based off a game from the 1980s, so it's not gonna have that much death. The thing is, you can't really attack the enemies. You only can do actually one thing to them. And Mr. Do had the ability to throw balls, but for some reason, the kid from Quest 64, I don't know his name, he can only shoot one ball at a time instead of being able to shoot all these enemies at once. So you gotta wait until your magic returns to your wand before you can shoot another ball which is really annoying. So you're constantly gonna be on the run. I mean, there's another method of attacking and that's by using the chest, which you gotta dig underneath and hope that an enemy is right behind you when they get smashed by it, but typically they're smart enough to go around it. Most of the time though, there's like some items inside the chest that could either stop all the enemies or just give you more speed, which I really just always hope for because as soon as I stop all the enemies, this giant frog comes out of nowhere and he starts breathing fire at me and it's really annoying. As soon as you kill the frog though, all the enemies stop from being frozen. So it's just all like, what's the point of that power up? Just so you can freeze the enemies to make some new, more powerful enemy come and appear? Seriously, I like this game. I can never get to the final freaking level because I don't know how many hits the final boss freaking takes, but I love this game. It's, it's, it makes me hysterical thinking about how I used to try to force myself and play this game on Christmas Eve. But at the same time, I'm going insane from how freaking monotonous this game is, but at the same time, it was something that I put up with once upon a time. Now I'm just all like, why am I even reviewing it? Well, to be honest with you, I was planning on actually playing this game way back around Christmas time, but I decided to do a Christmas list video instead, going over this game very, very quickly and never really talking about it. But here it is today. I mentioned it when I got it back in third grade, when I didn't get shit for Christmas. The only reason why I'm taking a look at this game today is because I noticed that the freaking footage takes up a lot of space, which is a common problem that I'm constantly dealing with. If you follow me on Twitter, you'll notice that I I always post up that I'm always deleting constantly large amounts of space off of my laptop. And it's mainly because I edit a lot of videos and they take up a lot of space, especially when you use freaking Final Cut Pro 10. So basically after every single video that I do, I have to go back and delete a lot of footage or just a lot of files that I didn't need in the first place because they're just being used in that video and that's it. Now, when it comes to Quest Mystery Challenge, I feel like this game has been taking up a lot of space for too long and it needs to go. So I'm gonna talk about it and there it goes. There, gone, deleted. Even after deleting that though, my computer is still moving a little sluggish. So you know what? I think for my next actual review, I'll smash two games into one review and see how they do comparing each other. But until then, enjoy this last little bit of freaking quest anniversary. Cause I don't even know what the freaking title is anymore. I fucking hate this game.